to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day today here in MLB The Show 24, we have a Jackie Robinson Day program where you can earn a free 93 overall Jackie Robinson as well as some other diamonds, some other goodies here in MLB The Show 24. There's also a pack available for real money that supports the Jackie Robinson Charity Foundation. So we'll go ahead and check that out in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and check out the Jackie Robinson Day program. I'm going to look at the rewards, what we have to do to earn the rewards, and then we'll go ahead ahead and check out the pack that's on the digital store not exactly an MLB the show but we'll talk about that in just a little bit at five points in the Jackie Robinson day program we get 4200 XP at 10 points we get a standard pack at 15 points we get our first card a 90 overall Buck O'Neill we'll notice that these are season one cards you'll be able to use these cards towards the season one collections Buck O'Neill has 92 contact versus righties, 100 contact versus lefties, 60 power versus righties, 74 versus left-handed pitching, 80 vision form, 95 clutch, 90 fielding, 71 arm strength and accuracy if you want to put him at left or right field, but he's going to be a primary first baseman with 90 reaction and 75 speed for this Buck O'Neill, no quirks on the card at 20 points we get a standard pack at 25 points we get our second card a 91 overall hilton l smith starting pitcher card you can see he does have some hitting attributes to go with his left and right field secondary it's, let's take a look though first at the pitching ones 87 stamina 85 hits per nine to go with that 87 pitching clutch 88 walks per nine to go with his 89 control, 81 velocity, and 99 break for him. We see the pitch velocity on his pitch selection up in the top right. He's got a curveball, forcing fastball, changeup, sinker, and a slider. There's the control on each of the pitches looking pretty solid, and the pitch break for Hilton Smith as well. Now looking at his hitting attributes, he's got 72 contact versus right, 84 versus left. 40 power versus righties, 52 versus lefties, 70 vision, 80 clutch, 78 fielding, 76 arm strength, 68 accuracy, 76 reaction, and 62 speed for Hilton Smith. No quirks for him as well. I'm not sure if any of these cards today are going to have quirks on them. At 30 points, we get another standard pack. At 35 points, we get another standard pack. At 40 points, we get a 92 overall Hank Thompson, right field primary, also play second, third, short, left, and center field. 94 contact versus righties. 81 contact versus lefties. 80 power versus righties. 65 power versus lefties. 84 vision. 88 fielding. 90 clutch. 85 arm strength and 80 accuracy with 81 reaction and 84 speed for this Hank Thompson. But he does have some quirks. One of my favorites, Dead Red. I always like the ones where they're excelling at doing something. That's going to be that 92 Hank Thompson. I'm loving seeing this. Finally, we have a pack in a program. I know we had some in the new team affinity, but here in the Jackie Robinson Day program, we can see a Barrier Breakers pack. These cards are used towards that Vlad Jr. Special Collection. 45 points, you get one of these. Again, real quick, I just want to remind y'all that if you go to the Collect tab and then Collections, we have this Special Collection there is the Hyper Series Vlad Jr. and the Barrier Breakers cards are part of that. So that's going to help the prices on those cards. I might have to start picking up those cards to try to get closer to that collection. Again, you get one of those packs at 45 points. And then the final card in the program is, of course, Jackie Robinson for the Jackie Robinson Day program. Shortstop Primary also plays second base, 100 contact for him versus righties, 109 versus lefties, 60 power versus righties, 80 power versus left-handed pitching, 94 vision for him with 105 clutch, of course, 99 bunting and drag bunting for Jackie, 78 fielding, 76 arm strength with 74 accuracy, 82 reaction, and 90 speed for this Jackie Robinson. We can see that he does have quirks on the card as well. So how do you earn points in this program? There's going to be one moment, veteran difficulty, get on base once with Jackie Robinson. The moment is Robinson breaks MLB's color barrier. That's going to get you five of the 50 points that you need. There's going to be parallel XP with anybody in any mode in Diamond Dynasty, just 4,200 parallel XP. Gets you 10 points in the program. So from that moment in mission, that's going to be 15 points. We also have multiplayer missions. 42 total bases in any multiplayer Diamond Dynasty mode. All these missions are only multiplayer modes for these. 42 total bases gets you 10 points. 42 total strikeouts gets you 10 points. 5 hits with primary shortstops gets you 5 points. 5 times on base with primary first baseman 
gets you five points and then five innings pitched with the Dodgers players gets you five points those are the multiplayer missions and I'm a little bit surprised I know that they have the parallel XP mission right here but I'm a little bit surprised that they don't have single player missions in addition to the multiplayer missions but there are a lot of points to be earned in the multiplayer mission we have an optional storylines collection if you collect it looks like all seven of the cards from the season two of the negro league storylines here in mlb 24 that's going to get you to 10 points in the program and i want to talk about that in a second because i think you can skip if you don't want to play through for some reason and take the time to go through all the storylines i think you can skip the moments and just get to the end unlock the cards right away i could be wrong on that Maybe someone could confirm or deny in the comment section, but I think you might still be able to earn the cards through storylines, even by skipping the moments. But I could be wrong on that. And then we also have a Jackie Robinson Day Conquest map that gets you 35 points if you complete all the goals. We'll check that map out in a, in a second here, but 35 points for the Conquest map, 5 points for the moment, 10 points for the Parallel XP. You don't have to to do the multiplayer missions. You don't have to do the storylines collection. If you just do this moment, the 4200 parallel XP, and you complete all the goals on the conquest map, which I imagine once you beat all the strongholds, you'll be pretty close to that 4200 parallel XP anyways, then you'll have the program done. You do not have to do the collection or the multiplayer moment missions, I should say. And let's check out the goals for the Jackie Robinson day. We can see the 42 in the middle, the conquest map, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six strongholds that you have to beat. First goal, acquire 42 million fans. You get two show packs. Goal number two, capture the Dodger strongholds. It looks like there's three of them. You get 42 stubs in a headliners pack. If you capture the Royal stronghold, then you get two show packs and 42 stubs. If you capture the Yankee stronghold, you get one of the stub millionaire packs as well as 42 stubs. And if you conquer all the territories on the map, so there's no turn goals time based goals anything like that so you get a five pack bundle 42 stubs a thousand xp and all you got to do is beat this whole conquest map take over every stronghold and that gets you 35 points in the program and you're probably going to be getting pretty close to if not already yet the 4200 parallel xp mission now back on the main menu of mlb the show if we go to storylines and then we check out the season two for the negro league storylines click on this i could be wrong but I'm pretty sure once you're in a moment, you can skip the cutscenes if you want to. You can always go back and watch them later. So you can go ahead and skip these. And you might be able to just skip through all of them to get all the way to the end and unlock the cards. Maybe in the comment section, if somebody wants to confirm or deny, you try skipping them. It lets you get the cards or if you actually have to play and beat the moments. I'm really not sure, but I want to say you might be able to skip through all the moments same thing with the Derek Jeter storylines I think you can just skip through everything and earn the cards without actually beating any moments now right here we can see I searched Jackie Robinson here on the store on Xbox I would assume it would be pretty similar on the PlayStation store but here on the Xbox I go over to add-ons it's gonna be $4.99 and I don't know if it's gonna say here on this page but on their tweet I'm pretty sure they said that all of the proceeds from this pack go directly towards the jackie robinson foundation the jrf it's 4.99 and let's go ahead and see exactly what you get from this jrf pack we have 5,000 stubs a jackie robinson foundation bat skin a jackie robinson bat skin jackie robinson day bat skin jackie robinson socks a 42 profile icon and then a jackie robinson profile icon we can see everything right here those socks and it looks like the bat grip appear to be usable you can use them on your road to the show player and then will be the show i would assume and again this pack is going to be 4.99 and if i'm not mistaken all the proceeds yeah so right here we can see playstation will donate 100 percent of the proceeds minimum of 349 per pack to the jackie robinson foundation so this is for a good cause and you do get some goodies if you choose to spend $4.99 on this Jackie Robinson Foundation pack. So again, it's not going to be in the pack shop. You actually have to search for it on the Xbox store, PlayStation store, whatever console you're buying it on. And if I'm not mistaken, we should get a headliner and maybe another free card in the pack shop. We can see that this Jackson Holiday only has 10 minutes left on him. Jazz has four days left, so maybe we have to wait until Friday. But... 
the next bit of content that's on the coming soon portion of the calendar i would assume again we get maybe a headliner before then but on Friday, April 19th, we get our first lightning player of MLB The Show 24 for the season awards. Who do you think, if you've made it this far into the video, in the comments section, who do you think should get that lightning player card? I'm kind of thinking it's either going to be Mookie Betts, Bobby Witt Jr., or Anthony Volpe. I feel like those are my three guesses for our first lightning player of the year. I'm curious if y'all have any guesses down in that comment section, and that's going to be what we have new for today and then coming later this week. I hope you all enjoy playing through the Jackie Robinson Day program. I'm definitely going to be using these cards towards the collection and hopefully starting picking up some of the barrier breakers, maybe getting that Vlad Hyper Series collection done.